Good day guys, Ming here. Um, before we start, just a lay know that uh, I think I'm having a bit cold today, so please excuse my voice. Okay, so okay, so today we're going to model this this uh, structure, and it'll be modeled using structure framing. Okay, so let's start. So first, create a a project. Okay, so go to side plan, and now we need to decide a size of because it's not a a, a parametric family, and we need to decide the size now. Okay, so I'll just create uh, create some uh, reference plan, and I'm going to copy them uh, roughly 10 meter, 10 meter. Okay. And also uh, go to elevation. So I'm going to use the level and uh, roughly area. Okay, so go back to side plan. So um, what I'm going to do is now I'm going to draw some uh, walls. So WA, you are going to use the generic wall, edit type, duplicate. I'm going to make one mil thick. Wall. Okay, and okay, and okay. So first, let's draw a wall uh, map uh, to along with this the top reference uh, reference. Oh, actually, how to match the width? Okay, so the first one, and then AR. So I'm going to use 500 spacing and return T. 20. Yeah, 20 of them. Okay, so now we need to create an earth wall in the the other direction. So copy one of them, ungroup it, rotate it by sixty degree, and I'm going to move this to this corner. So move from the center of this wall to this point. Okay. Now select this wall, AR array. Uh, perpendicular to this wall, 500 again. So this time maybe 20, 28. Yeah, yeah, that's about right. Okay, now select this one of this group S A. So we will select all these 28 uh, groups. And uh, actually, hell, uh, let me just create another to reference plans okay so di dimension and equal them and also this this three dimension and then equal so now we know that this is the center of this whole structure okay so select this group sa mm mirror and pick this reference plan so now we have the the other walls in the other direction so these are all the wall we need okay so now we just need so if you look here so we need to move these wall up to match the center so select one of them SA and MV and pick the same this point and then pick the reference plan the center point so now we have all the walls here so we just need to trim them to match the uh, the, the reference plan but before that i want to just so see here i want to move this reference plan to match this wall okay and also this one i'll just move it and match 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 this okay so this is all good i think this should be okay and now we just need to uh, uh, trim them so select all these group sa and ungroup and also these horizontal walls sa ungroup so now we can use this tool trim extend multiple and pick this a reference uh, plan and we need to pick all the walls here a 
here. Um, I know that uh, in AutoCAD you can do it all at once. You can draw a line to cut all the wall, but in Revit you need to do it uh, one by one. Yeah, um, if, if you know a better way to do it, please let me know. Okay, and also uh, not only you can trim them, you can extend them. Okay, so that's uh, another one here, and maybe this one, uh, not this one. But. So now once once finish all this, just click here, uh, click uh, the um, here once, and we will start restart this tool. So click this reference plan, and then click all these walls. Um, and also, some, while we're doing this, some background of this exercise. So this thing, this I've been uh, trying to work out uh, uh, using adaptive family and pattern-based family for a while, but um, uh, without any luck. So this is the. Um, Actually, I saw I saw a video. I uh, I watched a video on YouTube. It's about it's it's a um, it's more it's the same same structure but using uh, SketchUp. So from that video, I figured out oh maybe we can do we can do it this way. But of course, because it's not parametric. After you finish, you, um, you won't be able to adjust the most of them. So this is uh, not very convenient, but at least we can model it. Okay, so oops, sorry, wrong. Almost there. Yeah, you don't you don't need to wait. Uh, yeah, sometimes the web you know, the web is running quite slow now. Um, part of the reason is this wall. If I go to three D view, you will notice that these wall are actually joined. So if I select one of them, HI, you will see these lines because. This will automatically join when when a lot of elements join together. It will affect the space the the, the space. Okay, but later we 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 will unjoin them. But before that, I'm going to um, so this is actually uh, let me just do it again. So what we need here in the center of this uh, structure, we need to. Instead of have all this wall, we need um, we need this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. Okay, together with all these, but not not these, not these, uh, not these, not these, not these, and not these. Okay, so. Uh, I'll create a, a, a field region on top of this so it's easier to see. So I'll use y um, roughly here, 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 and here. Finish. I'll use a different color, make gray, and not masking so I can, you can see the wall behind. Okay, so now we need to uh, redo the wall here. So SL split. So I'll split this wall, split this wall, split this wall, split this wall. Okay. And I'll use, I'll go back to modify, use this tool again, pick this wall, and pick this, and also pick this. 
Okay, so click here and then click wall and click this. Oh, oh, now we we don't need to do it. Do this one, this one, and this one. Oh, sorry, no one. And also, actually, hell, uh, SL looks like we didn't split this one. <laughs> okay, so now let's go back this one, pick this wall, and pick this side, and also pick this side, and restart, and pick this wall, and pick this side, and pick this side. And the restart, pick this this wall, pick this side, and pick this. It also uh, looks like we need to yeah split this one as well. So we can uh, start pick this wall and pick this one and pick this one. And restart, pick this wall, pick this one, and pick this one. Okay, so now we need to draw one, two, three. So WA, one, two, one, two, and one, and uh, two. Okay, so now we, we can get delete this field region. So now these are all the wall we need. Okay, so now let's go to 3D view. Um, so we we need to so uh, eventually we are going to place the theme um, using pick line and pick use three D snapping to pick the edge of the wall. But you will see so currently if if I place a beam, it will only place a little very short one. So see the the reason is so is these joined this wall are joined so what we can do is we can just unjoin so if i unjoin this wall and then then we place a beam on this wall so you will see we can place the whole length see this one okay so now let's just unjoin all these walls this this will take a little while a little while depending on your the speed of your uh, computer just click just click on on these walls any wall if 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 you see the blue color which means they are joined with something and you cannot join them so eventually there will be nothing for you to pick and then which means they are all uh, unjoined okay so just okay so let's have a look so anymore so you will see there's no blue color you won't be able to pick anything so which means they are all unjoined not joined okay so that's good okay so now almost finished almost finished so now we need to go to elevation. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, actually, let me just ra raise this wall to match the level one. Okay, so which is nine meter. So let, let me just check on join. Oops, still some walls joined. Yep, it's okay. Okay, so now let's model a uh, roof on top of this. Okay, so go to side plan and create a model in place. Select this roof category and okay, and pick the um, this reference plan and go to elevation. So create a revolve. So first, let's draw a axis line in the uh, line to the reference plan and then boundary line so we're going to first decide the radius of uh, the support okay so um, for example I'll just typing 300 and go up and so now for the arc 
try to avoid starting from here. So maybe start a little bit inside. So maybe here, 45 degrees, and go up. So trim it, and also go around to a little bit further. Go back to reference plan, go down, and finish. So, oops, uh, profile must not cross. Uh, okay, so it looks like I crossed that. That's okay. Let's have a look where the axis line. Oh, here. If I zoom in. Ah, okay. So I'll just move this to. Yep. I think that's all good now. Uh, yep. So because previously I drew the axis line uh, on the left. Okay, so now finish and finish. Have a look in 3D view. So this is a roof on top of all these walls. So select all these walls, attach top, click on the roof. And you should, that's okay. Some of the walls won't attach to the roof because they, are, they, they went uh, through this roof. So what we can do is, so turn around. So we can just join, so click on this wall, join the roof. So this wall also um, also remove part of the wall inside this roof. And which, you know, creates this now we can, so we can pick and place our structure framing on those lines. So have a look again. So there are still one, two, three, three wall. So change uh, WF wireframe, and let's join. So pick this this wall, tab, and click on the roof, and also this wall and the roof. Oops, again, yep, and also this one. So see this one. And also this roof. Oops. Again, okay. wall roof. Okay, so now change it to shade SD. I hard this roof HH. So now we have all all the you know the wall, the edge we can pick. So now go to structure beam. Let's load a beam. So this is under structural framing okay good i'm just going to pick a, a timber so maybe this this one okay so now okay excuse me use pick lines and 3d snapping so now but now we can pick the lines and then yeah so you will see this these are the structural members so of course we can't do it all at once so we need to just place them one by one okay but if if you you're already at this uh, stage you'll be I think that's not that's not far from finish it because the, the the hardest part I think the hardest part is trying to get all the walls uh, attached to the roof or join with the roof because um, if, yeah, personally I, I have found it the, most, uh, the hardest part because a lot of time it really just tell you ah oh, you can't you can't join them and it would not tell you why and you need to figure out how you can join them so this is a harder part but once you are starting to create these column framings uh, that's that's a, this is the easiest part okay so just place all these uh, framing And then there will be a 0 0.5 uh, or one millimeter um, 
because uh, not, uh, not very accurate maybe uh, one millimeter because you don't know which side actually when we place all these uh, framings I don't know which side of the wall I'm picking because the wall is uh, only one millimeter so if you pick on this side and and then you pick on the other one on the other side it will be one millimeter difference but nobody will, will see the difference so that should be fine okay so this one yeah okay what else ah oh, yeah still quite a lot so almost there And don't be sad, I'm not crying, I'm just cold, having a cold. Um, okay, let's do more. Once you finish placing all these uh, structure beams, uh, you don't need the walls anymore. You can delete the walls because they won't follow the wall if you move them. So there's no. So you don't. Yeah. You don't need to have them at all. So. And some of the vertical one, and you will notice that you will need to adjust the angle of the vertical one because they are currently it's all one direction. Um, that will be easy. I'll show you. Okay, so okay, I think that's all. Is that all? Select, select the wall and HH and see. I think that's. That's all of them. Yep. Yep. Uh, now let's adjust these columns. And so start from this. This one looks like perfect. The one next to it, it's not. And also uh, notice that this because these these are twelve. I think it's twelve of them. And the thirty three uh, three hundred sixty degrees divided by twelve will be thirty degrees. So let's try if I rotate it by thirty degrees. That's perfect. So this one, let's try 60. Yes, so this one will be maybe 90. Uh, maybe negative 90. Okay, so this one will be, uh, um, I don't know, 30 degrees again. Uh, maybe uh, negative 120. Ah, yeah. So this one, negative 150. Oops, no. Negative one twenty. Uh, negative ninety. No, thirty degree. Uh, ninety degree. No, one fifty. Yes. So this one will be uh, one ninety degree. Yes. And this one will be uh, um, uh, one fifty. Yes. So this one will be 120, yes, this one will be 90, and this one will be 60, and this one will be 30. Okay, all done. Perfect. So now this, this is it. And the missing, missing ones, no? Yes, no? Oh good. So now we can... Uh, so if you want to, you can delete this one as well. So, but 
key, to, to be safe, usually if, if you're not sure, you can always put them in a temporary. So demolish in the same uh, same, and then if we show previously new or show complete, it will hide all the temporary stuff. So now we have this, and then you can just uh, group it. Okay, and then so let's go to side plan, and we can uh, help still show all, so I'll show show complete or show previ previous and new. So now we can just um, and let me change to medium, so you will see everything. Okay, so and you can ar array or copy. Uh, I'll just copy. I don't want to array too many of them. So it's a copy, copy one. Yeah, take it will take a few seconds because it's quite uh, heavy. It's okay. I'll just uh, uh, group. I'll just create a new group. Yeah. It looks like some of the because some of the member when they meet uh, meet each other, they will have some you know uh, uh, relationship, and then so the causing the 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 issue of the groups. So but it won't be a big issue for us. So. That's it. So that's two of them. So of course you can copy more, and also to this direction. So you can create some nice structures. Okay, that's it. Uh, thank you for watching. If you have any questions or if you found a, a better a method for any of these steps, so because I I understand that that's a lot of work to do this. But if you find some better method, please let me know. Okay, so we can share with everyone else. Okay, thank you. I'll see you next time. Bye.